we are just in the middle of a vineyard and it's very interesting because you've got a, a, an incredible soil which is mainly made with those uh, uh, limestone uh, normally we say it's a Kimmeridgian soil I mean that certainly in the old time a river a river was there and you can see that there is some shells on those uh, on those stones so it's a really a great terroir and a typical terroir from Provence. So Samantha what is the rosé today? Christian the rosé today is Chateau Paradis a lovely premium rosé from Provence. Okay Christian so can you give us some background about this rosé? Sure Chateau Paradis is a very old property uh, I wrote somewhere that uh, there is some trace about uh, doing some wine at Chateau Paradis uh, aged about 600 years before Jesus Christ. So, very old property. But anyway, uh, the property is located in the north of a very famous city, Aix-en-Provence, which is uh, the art of the Provence Rosé production. Uh, it's not a big property, it's a 160 acre property. Okay, Christian, so what about the wine itself? Well, the wine, uh, first of all, it's blend from uh, Syrah and Grenache. It's a uh, 60% Syrah, 40% Grenache. The fact that uh, there is a majority of Syrah will give something which is much more on the spices and the Grenache will bring a lot of fruit behind. The wine has been ranking by one advocate or one enthusiast for the past six or seven vintages, 90 plus all the time. Okay, Christian, let's have a taste. Yes, for sure. So, take your glass. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Well, that's a premium Provence Rosé. It's quite a powerful wine. Uh, the first impression you get is uh, there is a lot of complexity. Uh, mineral complexity, fruit complexity, a uh, lot of aromas that are coming. It's really a well-balanced wine uh, with a strong freshness that comes first, a nice roundness and a mix of uh, fruit expression which is just unbelievable. A uh, very nice wine. So Samantha, how do you pair this wine with? Christian, as the previous rosé, it will be perfect as an aperitif also it will pair well with pasta, homemade pizza, chicken dishes, salads, and of course seafood in this. And Samantha, we've got a special surprise. Yeah, in the description you will find the link that drives you to a Provence starter recipe named Anchoyade and a tapenade. 